with Chef Stefano. Okay, please tell me what this gorgeousness is right here. Family style pasta, but yeah, what is it? So we're making a fusilli with zucchini. Mm. Fusilli, zucchini. Oh, I like right, it. Yeah. It's all lime. Uh, fusilli with zucchini, goat cheese, mm. uh, lemon zest, yes. and a bit of uh, roasted hazelnuts. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And garlic. And garlic. Don't forget the garlic. Anything else you want to throw in there? That's uh, perfect. You can. Now, yeah. uh, this dish, uh, before we, because it really takes like no time to make, right? Okay. So, so we can talk a little bit. Let's talk. So this dish, um, for all uh, the families that do the grind every day, that go to work and that come home and you have to do the homework, and yeah. this dish practically takes the, the to make the amount of time that it takes for the pasta to cook. Okay, good. So, so it takes good like eight night. minutes. It's a good weeknight yes. meal. Yes, and remember when you're cooking pasta, guys, there's always a, a time for the pasta, like, you know, nine minutes. Yes. Always cook your pasta two minutes less. Right. And then put it in your sauce. It's gonna finish cooking. Right. You don't think about that. So let's but start. But you speak like a, you speak like a chef, but a chef who's a dad. Like, yes. can you tell he has three Absolutely. kids? Absolutely. You have three yes, children, three. Three and you're constantly children. thinking about. They're gorgeous. They are. But you're constantly thinking about what can I get on the table before everybody starts to turn. They call it the witching hour for a reason. Yes. Right. Exactly. And make it be nutritious and beautiful and and tasty. And this is one of those recipes. This so, is one of those recipes. Yes. And the kids have to like zucchini because if they don't like zucchini, well, you get know. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so basically, I have some zucchini. Uh, what you want to do, guys, is just get yourself uh, a zucchini or two. Yeah. You want to cut them and uh, slice them lengthwise in half, and then cut them in like little half moons. They're super thin. Okay, or you can cut them in cubes. Oh, okay. No problem. Doesn't matter. No problem, okay? okay? So basically, olive oil in a pan. You want to saute the zucchini, okay? So get quick, you want to just salt them a little bit. And, and uh, listen, you can make this with uh, other vegetables as well. Eggplants, you can make the mm -hmm. same dish with eggplants. Right. That would be perfect. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. People not, never know what to make with eggplants. It's true. It's like eggplants is like, you know, what do we make with eggplants? Yeah, and it's, it's such just a good uh, An Italian so good has to tell you. you what to make with eggplants. <laughs> No, just go it's, to your it's, local uh, Italian and exactly. say, listen, I got this eggplant. What do I make with eggplants? I'm not really sure what to do with it. So saute this. Yeah. Okay, and again, they're paper thin, right? So it's not going to take that long. And even if they're a little, even if they're slightly raw, it's okay because a raw zucchini is really, really delicious. Yeah. So add a little bit of garlic. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, and, so good. And at the same time, your pasta is your pasta is boiling. Yeah, it's my cooking. pasta is boiling at this point, right? So we're going to just saute all this. You smell that. It smells amazing. This is like Listen, garlic, add oil, garlic oil, to anything, oh and you're my good. God. Okay, now we have goat cheese. Okay, mm -hmm. so what we want to do is, I'm going to cheat a little bit. So we're yeah. going to take, uh, I have about half a cup of crumbled goat cheese. Okay. So we're going to take part of it, and we're just going to put it into the sauce, like this. Are and you we'll leave waiting? a little bit for later. So okay? you, you, do you have to wait? Like if this were real life, would you wait a little bit later to add the cheese? No, no, okay? no, 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 no. This is fine. Put it in now. Yeah, put it in now. Okay. And these zucchinis, to stir it up a little bit, are already done. Mm -hmm. Was that fast or what? That was fast. Hey. So. It was fast. Now what we want to do is next. I have. Obviously, when you're cooking your pasta, you have a little bit of pasta water. So you want to yeah. keep a little of pasta water, and you're just gonna pour it in the pan. Mm -hmm. Just like that, and you're gonna allow the cheese also to melt, and it's gonna basically make your sauce. What's so special about the pasta water? Well, there's a lot of starch in it, so what yeah. happens is with the sauce, it brings like everything together. Got it. Right? So it's always good to have a little bit of pasta water. Okay. So basically, guys, you have this beautiful mixture here. Look how creamy that is. That's good. That is delicious. So it's a binder, it's binding everything Exa together. It's binding everything together. You got it. You cook Italian at home, eh? You see that? Uh, that's that. funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit more salt and a little bit of pepper. Uh -huh. Again, pepper is really important with this, uh, with this dish. It like, really brings out a lot of the flavor. So we're going to turn that off. What we're going to do is we have some cooked pasta. So we're going to add the pasta to the pan. Yeah. OK, we're going to just warm it up. At this point, the kids are putting the placemats yes, out in the napkins. Yes, exactly, exactly. They're taking out their little you plastic got cups. You got it, you got it, they you got, got it. they got the forks and the knives at the table. They're setting okay. the table. And we're going to mix all this together. And this and is we, beautiful if, and, we, and we see, if it, dried, if it dried up a little bit, we can add a little bit more pasta water. Yeah. Just like that. And then at some point, you're adding in the... Yes, yeah, um, so now we're going to finish the dish. So we're going to bring... The hazelnuts. We're gonna bring this right here. We're gonna add to this some lemon zest. 
Hey, we like lemon zest, right? Fresh, Fresh springy. lemon zest. Yep. You can add lemon to almost anything. It's always the best ingredient to throw in there. Yeah, and it always, you know, or orange zest. Or orange zest. You can, or lime yeah. if you have lime, mm -hmm. right? Just make it your own. That's the important part when you're cooking. So this, a little nice. lemon zest, we stir this up together. And then finally we have our hazelnuts. Now hazelnuts, if you don't have hazelnuts at home, like don't run around, like don't run to the grocery store to get your hazelnuts. Like you can use walnuts, mm -hmm. you have a few almonds, you can even add some almonds, that's fine. So basically I'm just gonna do pop we, some Do we wanna grind these yeah, with we're, the pestle? No, just, just go like this. Oh, okay. With the knife, we're gonna yep. cut them up. And you gotta do this quickly because if not someone in your house is gonna eat them all. <laughs> I love hazelnuts, especially when they're roasted. Exactly. So this, this hazelnuts, you can roast them in advance and just keep so them good. in your pantry, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to take our dish. We are going to add a bit of our pasta to our dish with the zucchini. Coming in hot, kids. Look at this. <laughs> yes. Dinner is served. OK, just like that. Mm -hmm. Not fancy. It's That's family fine. cooking here. Yeah. Right? Well, I like even doing it out like this and everybody can yes, take exactly. it a big family style. So like basically, beautiful. that's your that's your pasta. You're yep. going to add the rest of the crumbled goat cheese on the top. Beautiful. Right? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Am I allowed to do you're, the? Yes, you're allowed to do I'm that allowed. for sure. And you add your hazelnuts over the top. Finish it with a little bit more. I try to do it in a chef -y type way. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit more lemon zest. Just to give it that last citrusy flavor yeah. and olive oil of for the win.